DJ Benji. Good afternoon, everyone. DJ Benji here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are talking about um, we are talking about song structure, and this is one of the key things. Moving on from my other video the other day, uh, where we learnt how to count bars, and um, somebody somebody asked me, "Is like why do you count?" Why do you count fours uh, instead of 16s? Yes, it's true. A verse will have 16 bars. Now, I'm going to post a link to this actual song in the um, in the in the comments for you. So you can you can follow along to the actual song. You'll all know it anyway. It's a very, very famous R&B hip hop song. But it's a real great example of what we're trying to do. Yeah. Um, like So basically, let's go back to the the song so what i've done is i've already marked it out save yourself some time so this song you've got four sets of four let's count along look ready one two three four two two three four three two three four four two three four one two three four two two three four Now, if you want to, you can carry on. You can carry on um, going through and counting and then you'll get to another chorus, which is identical to this one. Somebody asked me the other day, why do you only count four bars rather than the full eight or 16 or whatever? The thing is, right, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help people apply this technique to any genre you could use this on drum and bass you could use this on r&b and hip-hop you could use this on house dubstep anything and i and i will show you some examples of that as well perhaps um in later videos but basically um what we want to do when we talk about song structure you'll notice that the chorus most of the time is eight bars long but if we notice in this particular song, it changes from a male vocal to a female vocal singing the same thing after four bars. Which is also four bars long. Let's count. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, into verse two. And then verse two is 16 bars long. Right. So why is this important? So song structure. Right. What you can do is if you're DJing, and let's say the crowd is loving this song. They're all dancing. They've got their groove on and everything. And you know that this is a banger on your dance floor. You're going to play the whole, you're going to play the whole thing, right? Um, now, typically, what, you, what you'll find is within um, genres, you'll find that there are similar patterns within the genre. Like, So this one has got a, uh, what's that, a four-bar beats-only intro, and then you've got the chorus, which is eight, eight, eight bars long. That's what I mean, sorry. So you've got four bars here, and then eight bars here, and then 16 bars here, another eight bars here, and then you've got your bridge, right? So, and then you've always got a double chorus on the end. So let's say the crowd is loving this. You play this right to the end. We'll listen for the double chorus. And then I'll go on to prove my point, which is songs will always end on a double chorus. And it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a song from the Beatles. It doesn't matter whether it's a song from David Guetta. It doesn't matter whether it's a song from... DJ Zinc or like to give a drum and bass example or Mampy Swift that you always find that songs end on a double chorus and the chorus is repeated. Why? But some people call this the hook. It's the most rememberable part of the song. OK. And that double chorus is the signal 
for when you're a DJ to know when to mix it, right? So what I would be doing is um, once I've been listening for, you know, I've got all this time, crowd's loving this, I know what I'm going to play next, right? Now, let's say I used an identical song and we had with identical song structure and I knew that my song that I was bringing in had four beats, uh, sorry, four bars. If it had four bars where there was no vocals whatsoever and then I knew the vocal came in after four bars. Ignore this first bit because when you're mixing, you would probably queue up from the first beat. All right. So I know that there are four bars without any music uh sorry without any rapping only music where am i going to mix this song to make that blend in here what i would do is i would let my record go here so i would be doing my little i'd be queuing up my record and i would let the first beat of my record that i was going to mix in here so i'll tell you when one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, now. Because when you count four more bars, listen to what happens. Look, so as this change, look, and remember that the intro here is four bars long. So if I let this go here, one, two, three, four, two, two. Three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. It's a miracle. So what you would get is a perfect transition where you would get the instrumental of this song here with the first part of the chorus of the new song that you was bringing in. And it works every single time, 100% of the time, okay? Now, let's say number two, and we'll get on to crowd reading situations uh, in, in a separate video. Let's say the crowd was not liking this song. It was a bad move. I thought they liked Candy Shop, but actually they don't. It's a bit ancient now. It's a good 15 years old, maybe even longer than that. Um, but anyway, so what I would be doing is I, I would I would queue up my record and I would get the first beat, the downbeat, the boom, and I would let it go here. Why? Because what what I would do is this 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 intro that I had in in Rihanna Rude Boy, and um, you can check it out if you want, is four bars long. So I would be counting in from here. And we would count one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four. Come here, rude boy, 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 hear him me the up. I'm a terrible singer. I'm never going to pretend to be a singer, but that's exactly that that would be go. So I would be transitioning my mix through this bridge. So that would be if I messed up or if the crowd was loving it, I'd let it go from here because then I can cut that out and then the, the other bit would come in there. So that's when I would transition. And that's why counting bars is the most important thing that you can do as a DJ, and obviously play good music is is very, very important as well. Uh, by the way, these two songs may not be to your taste, but the reason why I've known um, I've put them is because they're pretty well known. Anyway, that was my little tutorial for today. Um, and then next, what I'll do is I'll show you some techniques on how to let the records go, or whether you're using a controller, or whether you're using a turntable or whether you like to use the play buttons whether you like your sync on whether you like to mix it yourself i'll show you how to do that anyway thank you very much everyone i hope you've enjoyed your video today take care this is dj benji please like and subscribe and you lot will have a wonderful day anyway peace out.